If you're trying to work with brands and turn content creation into a career, you've come to the right place. I think I can speak for most content creators when I say that it's a dream to get paid to post content. But working with brands can be a little bit more complex than it seems. You'll need to make sure that your content is aesthetically pleasing and authentic while showcasing the product. This is where I rely on CapCut because there are a ton of tools that make editing for brands a breeze. In this video, I'm gonna share my top tips for creating amazing content that actually converts and keeps the brands coming back for more. But before we get into my hot tips, make sure you're subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel. You do not wanna miss out on any tutorials. And now let's open the CapCut mobile app and get started. My number one tip for turning a one-time brand deal into a repeat client is showcasing the product well. Most of the time you'll need to include a demonstration or a before and after shot. CapCut makes it super easy to create picture in picture or split screen moments to show your product and yourself at the same time. So for this example, I'll start a new project and then add a clip of my hands only demo. I want this to show up at the bottom of my video as I talk my viewer through the demonstration at the top. So let's just adjust this within the player. Then I'll head into the transform menu to crop it so that it only takes up half of the screen. With a couple more small adjustments within the player, my hands only demo clip is ready to go. To add the clip of myself talking on top, I'll head into the overlay menu and then select the clip I like from my camera roll. Now this clip is showing up on top of my demo. So I'm just gonna make a few adjustments like I did with the first clip and then move it to the top half of the screen. Now I've got a video that accurately showcases the product as I talk to my audience. You can arrange your clips however you want want within your video. For example, if you're showing a before and after, you might want your clips to be side by side. It's totally up to you. Once my footage is good to go, it's time to add some music. Hot tip number two, never use copyrighted music in branded content. If you do, I can almost guarantee that the brand will make you redo it with a commercial free song instead. Thankfully, CapCut has an extensive copyright free library as well as a copyright check to make sure that you're picking usable sounds. To pick out my song, I'll head into the audio menu and then go into sounds. Here, I have a ton of brand friendly music to choose from. Once I add my song of choice to my video, I can adjust the volume to make sure that my viewer can still hear me. I can also double check that my video is copyright free by heading into the copyright menu. This will tell you if your video is good to export as is or if you need to replace your song. Tip number three, you will get a lot more clients if your content is accessible to as many people as possible. So for example, you're working on a global campaign or with an international brand. Don't worry, you don't have to take up a new language. All you have to do is use CapCut's video translator tool. Within the tool, you just need to select which language you're starting with and which language you'd like your video to be in. Let's go with Spanish for this example and then press apply. Now my video's in Spanish and the words are coming directly from my lips. If you'd like to keep your video in English but add captions in a different language, that's possible too and just as easy. Head into the captions menu and then go to advanced options. Here you can select a translated language for your captions. When I pick my language of choice and generate, I have my captions in both English and Spanish. It seriously doesn't get easier than this. My last tip is to make sure that your videos are aesthetically pleasing and free of any clutter or mess. Most products don't look great with a pile of laundry or an old water bottle in the background. It hurts the aesthetic and can lead to your video's engagement being more about your mess than the product, which is a big no-no. But if you've already shot your content and then notice a rogue mess in the background, there's no need to pull out your tripod again. We can fix this in the edit with the AI remove tool. Unfortunately, I filmed this entire tutorial with a messy towel in the background. Highly embarrassing and we don't have time for a reshoot. So I'm gonna use the brush to select tool and draw over my towel with my finger. It even magnifies the spot you're coloring to help you out. Tap the remove button and voila, I've got a clean background and the brand will never know that I'm kind of a hot mess. Now you've got all of the editing tools to work with brands, make money on social media, and turn followers into customers. I hope this helps you land your dream partnerships and edit them with ease. Any other hot tips for branded content? Drop them down below. Let's help each other out. And if you haven't downloaded the CapCut mobile and desktop apps, you definitely should. Editing doesn't have to be a total struggle. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Happy creating.